Hey everybody, here's a quick video on some volley drills that I did with the slinger bag. Um, I think it's really easy to do and stick around to the end and I'll share how I think I could have done these better and uh, how I think I can improve my volleys. So the first volleys here are the low volleys. Uh, this is a very hard shot for a lot of players, including myself. So this is something I wanna to continue to work on. The focus here is getting to those balls that are below the net uh, and making sure that we're using the right footwork here. So check it out. So for the low volleys, the, the machine's still in the same spot, right in the middle of the court. And I have it still at 10% incline. I increased the speed to, what's that, just the start of the fourth. And the feed rate is the same, right in the third slot there. Increasing the speed to the fourth spot, just push the ball out obviously a little bit further and creates more topspin and made the ball dip a little bit more, which is what I was looking for. So if you're looking to get that low volley, uh, that's a really good place to start. You might want to tweak um, that speed a little bit to position the ball right where you want it. But for me, that was a pretty good start. First time I tried this, uh, I'll do it again. I did a couple volleys that are a little bit higher, uh, trying to work on the high forehand volleys, uh, ones that might be a little bit out of the easy put away range, uh, but again, making sure that my footwork is correct, I'm loading on the outside foot, and I'm using my left arm appropriately to stay as accurate as possible. So to get the high volleys, I have it set on 20. And again, the speed is right at, what's that? The end of the third, so to the fourth notch and the feed rate's right on the third one again too. So um, I could have maybe bumped this up a little bit from 20 to like 20 and a half if you really wanted to. Um, and increase the speed a little bit, push you back further in the court if you wanted to. Um, but besides that, um, that worked super well. After watching back the volley clips here, a couple things I would have done differently that maybe you guys can take advantage of. On those low volleys, you can see that if you were standing at the net when those shots were hit, you would probably take two steps forward and really close out those volleys. You wouldn't wait for the ball to dip and hit that low volley. So it might have been better for me to, after each volley, back pedal and then move forward like I'm coming, hitting an approach shot, uh, to be moving forward to then go into that lunge to hit that low volley. That probably would have been a really nice addition to that drill. So test it out, see what you think. And when you're positioning the slinger bag for volleys, take advantage of the, of the no man's land. Uh, putting the bag right in the middle of court there is a great spot. And then depending on really what how comfortable you are and what you want to work on, just fiddling with the speed is probably going to be the biggest uh, component. Keeping it right at the 20% incline 
on the on the angle there is going to be a really great spot for most volleys. Uh, so that should be a great place for you guys to start. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.